and said, say, well, like, hey, YouTube doesn't allow for spaces in the URLs, but it's just war space hammer or war underscore hammer. Uh, initially, it was just Aunt Warhammer because I figured like, OK, I'm going to do Warhammer. So it makes sense to mention that in the title of the channel. Absolutely. Why did you uh, Games Workshop's it? lawyers disagreed. Yeah. So so did, did they come to you and, and say you need to change your YouTube name? Yes, and this was specifically after uh, members of a Reddit board uh, by the name of Sig Marxism contacted them. The person who did so made a bragging thread on the board saying that he had uh, uh, called up their lawyers specifically with my name, etc., and sent multiple requests uh, via bots as well, so I had to spam their email, essentially. Ah, so yep. so it was one guy who made a fuss, made it, sound, made it seem like there was a bunch of people complaining about yes. it. Yes, mm. yes. And then they sent me the uh, uh, the threats about legal procedures, so unless I removed the Warhammer. And at that point, I was genuinely very tempted to just say, like, no, you you don't you don't own the word Warhammer. Like, I don't care if you have a trademark; it's uh, it's a common common word, right? Uh, but they added in a part in the email saying that they would, uh, if this was to go forward they would go and strike anything with the mention of Warhammer on YouTube because they would claim Warhammer as a Games Workshop trademark fully on YouTube. Wow. The implicit threat there being like, okay, we are actually going to go after all Warhammer content if you fight us on this. And at that time, I still had relationships with a lot of other Warhammer YouTubers. And I'm like, okay, this is going to cause a lot of fucking troubles for everyone. So, okay. I'm not too attached to the one part of the name. Everyone knows me as Arch anyway, so fine. I'll change it. No skin off my back. Uh, I do regret that now because pretty much all of those Warhammer YouTubers then immediately decide like, oh, now Arch is dangerous to be around. Let's disavow him. Mm. Uh, right. So how long ago was this? Oh, God. Um, good while. Three, four years? Three, four years? Okay. So they came in, they threatened you, they they put their big old, you know, lawyer dick on the table and said, Hey, you know, we're gonna we're gonna come in. We're not just gonna hurt you, but we're gonna hurt your family and your friends. Right? That, that <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of like the mob coming in, right? Um, why not just put a space in between it and said say, Well, like, hey, YouTube doesn't allow for spaces in the URLs, but it's just war space hammer or war underscore hammer. Suck it, bitches. Yeah. Uh I wish I'd thought about it, honestly. Because <laughs> at, just... at the time, I was in a little bit of a panic mood as well. Because the first response was rage. Like, no, 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 you don't own this. I know trademark laws in my, my country. I own Art Warhammer trademark. I have that registered. Like, you, you can't then go like, yeah, but we own part of that. And that's, that's not how that works. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, uh, the thing that they would go after everyone was the one that gave me pause. And the thing is, too, they've demonstrated a willingness and an ability to do this later, where they went after Warhammer fan animations, uh, where there was a very thriving and excellent community of fan animators for Warhammer making Warhammer content on YouTube. Uh, Games Workshop went through every last one of them, sent them threatening emails saying, okay, either you stop, wipe your online presence and give up everything. You cannot monetize this. You can't have it. You can't have Patreons. You can't have YouTubes. You can't have Googles, anything like that. Or we're going to sue you. Oh, and by the way, uh, come work for us. Otherwise. Wow. So and idea... a lot of them did. So it's kind of like hold, holding the knife up to their neck and being like, hey, listen, yes. you can either die or you or." You, what is it? You or can you can, can die or you can slaves. Yeah, exactly. Or you can come work for us, you bitches, right? Wow. Yes. That's that's insane to think about. It's a, what a bullying technique. An absolute yep. bullying technique. And I personally do believe that they did that in large parts because they saw how easy it was to go after me and how nobody stood up on my side. So they thought, okay, we can get away with this. Wow. Wow. So Games Workshop, who is the company behind Warhammer. Uh, they came in. It, it, how how big of a company is this? Give me like a, a appropriate size, a approximate size. fairly size, but like no Disney or anything like that. But we're still talking like million dollars uh, profits, uh, millions of pounds. They're a fairly sizable company. Okay, and they have demonstrated a long long history of litigation in the past. Uh, they're a very litigious company. Right. They even they tried to copyright the words pauldron at one point. Cauldron. Pauldron, as Pauldron. in shoulder pads. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, I was like, wow, you, that's crazy. Uh, 
holy moly, that's that's nuts. Well, they they've done very well for themselves. Uh, looking at their core revenue on their on their uh, accounts for 2023, you know, this is a company that's generating a half a billion dollars or half a billion yeah. pounds annually. So, I mean, they're doing pretty damn good it, just from licensing 25 million pounds. Uh, so they're doing pretty damn okay, which is why, you know, when you have fan fan artwork and fan creations, it's amazing to see these companies. Nintendo's another one that anytime somebody creates anything using their IP, they swoop on in. They're like, no, can't do it. And they're extremely protective. And on one hand, I, I despise that. But with Nintendo, because I'm a Nintendo dork, and I like like uh, Mario and all that shit, I, uh, I'm i like, well, it's, they make a great product, so, you know, they got to be protective. But uh, part of me, like, really despises that, for sure. It's like a slap in the face of the fans, so. The, the copyright around it needs a rework, in my opinion, because, obviously, uh, in the olden days, if somebody was making something based on your thing, it was assumed that it would be something physical, something you could sell, right? And then, in that case, is you need to protect it because it's your trade secret. In this day and age, if somebody's making fan content of your product, that should be something you should actually embrace because it brings more people to your product. It is not harmful. It's not taking anything away from you. In fact, it is only additive to your product. Right. There's actually nothing better that can be done from a promotional standpoint than to have your audience spread the word about your content. But what do you think about this? Leave us a comment down below. We read every single one of them. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button because you have found your home for common sense in the gaming and entertainment worlds.